was just laying in the bed and uh, we heard one go gunshot go off and then after that like six more. Pop, 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 pop and there's a pause and then pop, pop. Police rushed to the shooting scene on Oleanda Avenue around 1230 Wednesday afternoon for a report of a shooting and possible home invasion. According to eyewitnesses and police, the victim was in his early teens. I just heard the gunshots and then I come outside and the little boy was on the ground. I just applied pressure to his wounds and told him to calm down, keep calm, he'd be all right. This neighbor, who didn't want to be identified, said the victim didn't live in the area. He told me he was like, I'm 16. I was asking him because I was trying to keep him. I was like, what's your name, where you live, what's your mom's number, all, and I was clapping in his ear. But minutes later, and just blocks away on Schneider Avenue, another shooting. So I just came out here, I seen a little kid on the ground in front of my brother's house, and then just had to make sure everything's good. But it was far from good. Witnesses say both young victims were shot, one in the leg, and the other victim? It was one in his back. It like went through from the back to the front, and I didn't see the back at first, I just seen the front, and then that was it. That was the only one I seen, and then he started to, he started to throw up, so I had to calm him down. Then they, I was on the phone with the ambulance, and they told us to turn him on his side. Police believe this double shooting is related. Neighbors say shootings have increased in the area. Just been hectic out here. Down there. How recent? Like a, just day, yesterday. Like, it was yesterday. Like my my it was friend a shooting just yesterday. the other day, with that my friend uh, over on Evelyn. 